Yeah, this testing site is wrapping up for the day behind me. You can still see a number of cars who have been waiting in this line for hours. Over here, we have an officer who is even controlling the traffic light in the area. Fairfax County is the largest school district in Northern Virginia, and it's home to a number of students and employees, and they'll be offering testing again at this site tomorrow. And testing is top of mind for a lot of people to make sure that we stop the spread of the virus. But the traffic mayhem that this is causing is also a big concern concern for neighbors who live in this area. Right, for miles, traffic is backed up as people wait to get tested for the coronavirus. I've been in line since 8.50. Natalie Duncan is getting tested to know her status and is leery about returning to work in person next week. I do believe that we should not be going back to school next week. Most people waiting in line said they predicted it would take hours to get tested. The neighbors who live along Gatehouse Road are frustrated by the mayhem this testing site has caused. Police are as frustrated as I am and they've shut down our neighborhood. We we can't leave our homes. We're completely trapped. Initially, the congestion turned Gallows Road into a parking lot. As more officers showed up, they began rerouting traffic. I think it's good to have testing. I think it was incredibly short-sighted and foolish to have all of Fairfax County schools report to one location. That's so uh, obviously dumb. I don't know who could have possibly made that decision and thought it was a good one. Despite the woes felt from the lengthy lines, this teen is ready to return back to school when she can. Yeah, I tested positive. When? Um, Christmas Eve. Like Christmas Eve. I think that always wear a mask because just to keep you safer, even though everyone is vaccinated, clearly that you are vaccinated, you can still get COVID. But if you're vaccinated, you probably won't have as much of an effect and you can stay safer. Well, traffic is not nearly as bad as it was earlier. It was backed up all the way to the highway, but we're starting to see some relief now. I spoke with one father who told me that the reason he waited in this line is because his daughter tested positive a few days after Christmas, and he wants to make sure he doesn't have it. Another woman telling me that she's experiencing some symptoms, uh, so she's hoping for a negative test, but even still, she's ready to return to in-person learning. That's the latest from here in Falls Church. I'm Megan Rivers, WUSA 9.